Hello, my friends. Welcome to Yoga with Yoga Assets. I'm Denise Druce, and this is a little more active practice that will have us up on our feet. So let's start by coming into child's pose with the knees wide and the toes touching. You can use a block under your forehead if you'd like. And just let your hips settle over your heels and take a few deep breaths here. You're breathing in and out through your nose. And feeling the breath in your back, but also in your belly. If your shoulders are not comfortable here, you can go ahead and bring your arms closer to your body. With each breath, just feeling your spine getting longer and your hips settling. And then go ahead and come up to all fours. Spread your fingers wide and put a little bit more weight in the thumb side of your palms. Tuck your toes and we're going to lift up into downward facing dog. So here if your hamstrings feel a little tight you can bend your knees. And just start to walk your heels like you're riding a bike. Pedal your heels toward the ground. Just start to reach your heels both down and at the same time just lift your hips up. And feel all that length and space in your back. You're pressing into the front edge of your palm so your arms feel longer and your head's just right between your biceps. Let's take one more breath here in downward facing dog. And then with a big bend in your knees, start to walk your feet to your hands or your hands to your feet. Put an even bigger bend in your knees and just hang here in a forward fold. You want to make sure your knees are bent enough that you can rest your belly, your chest, your ribs right on your thighs. And then take your fingers to your elbows, ragdoll. And just gently pull down on the skin on the back of your arms and Start to feel that stretch in your back and in the backs of your shoulders. If you'd like, you can move here from side to side. Or just hang out. Let your exhale be longer than your inhale. Starting to move now with breath. Bring your hands to your shins and inhale to a flat back, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And we'll do that a few times. Press on the shins, lengthen through the crown of your head, and exhale, fold in half, forward fold. We'll do that one more time. Press, even let your shins press into your hands, and forward fold. Next time we'll come all the way up, so bend your knees deeply, scoop your arms up overhead, extended mountain, and then just bring your hands into your heart. Let's reach the arms up again, extended mountain. This time as your hands come to your heart, sink your hips back like you're sitting in a chair. And we'll do that a few times with breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now that we're moving with breath, you can start using a breathing practice called Ujjayi breath. It's like you're breathing through a straw. So constricting your throat and making kind of an H sound. Let's do that one more time. One big reach up and maybe even a little bit back. Cactus your arms, heart opens. Inhale, lift. And exhale, sink down and hold chair. Just pause here for a few breaths. Weight is in your heels. You can wiggle your toes. Core is engaged. Bring your hands to your thighs. Step just a little bit wider and let's do standing cat cow. Inhaling as you lift your chin. Exhaling, tuck your tailbone. Open your shoulders. And then find neutral. Drop your hips a little bit lower. Hands come back to heart center. Let's inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. 
Nice big deep breath in, arms reach overhead. And as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Let your thumbs touch your chest, close your eyes. Deep, slow breaths. Just noticing the heat you've built in your body. Setting an intention for the rest of your practice or the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.